I said I'm tired of talking about the revolution because I don't think that they're listening. See, the situation is complex. My people are sitting in the complex. The police are targeting the youth and I'm worried if mine are next. You ask, is it by design? Is it by design? You can't tell me it's not designed when May May being black and crown. My man is strapped with the nine just in case he got to clap at the swine. I mean, we have to clap at the swine or take the risk of being clapped from behind. Because it's a matter of life or death when your life is less than someone with lighter flesh, whether a thug or someone that walks righteous steps, black lives won't matter until we unite against the threat. I said I'm tired of talking about revolution because I don't think they're listening. I said I'm tired of talking about revolution because I don't think they're listening. I said I'm tired of speaking about revolution because most don't see it as a solution. They'd rather work for these racist institutions than to seek retribution for the centuries of exploitation. But for me, until there's reparations, I will not recognize this nation because why would you want to build a system that enslaved our forefathers? And when we explore farther, we come face to face with more horrors, like the genocide against the indigenous population, just so Europeans could, could stay claim to, to the land of someone else's nation. Right now it's time to face the nation and ask the tough questions like why are people more concerned about someone's sexual preference than the pharmaceutical and tobacco companies that legally sells death in? Why we support a government that is corrupt to its core even after that government is known to lie to the public in order to take us to war? I'm talking about the same government that's supposed to protect our lives is the same government that's a sanction and our demise. This is the same government that destroys Destroyed Fred Hampton and Huey Newton because they were teaching and practicing the philosophy of revolution. So the FBI went to the ghettos and start recruiting in order to infiltrate and derail the black power movement. But this same government allowed the spread of Bloods and Crips, Latin Kings and GDs because they could care less about Africans engaged in self annihilation. See, we only pose a threat to white supremacy when we build towards self determination. So they turned a blind eye to the increase in African homicides, categorizing it as black. Black on black crime, another attempt to devalue our lives. But wait, I still have more questions for the people that are listening, such as why is there so much debate over Bill Cosby's sexual encounters? Because if we was really concerned about this particular crime, we should be discussing why 20% of women experience rape in their lifetime. I said, I'm tired of talking about the revolution because I don't think they're listening. I said, I'm tired of talking about the revolution because I don't think they're listening. See, times are that bad and I'm that mad. Sick and tired of them capitalizing off of my black ass. See, society has relegated my worth to a dollar sign. So if I ain't worth shit, I'm looked at as worthless and it's easy to eliminate someone that doesn't serve your purpose. We went from communal living to methods of using the next man to advance our interests because it's all about profit and the people are cold, bro. And it's hard to, it's hard to trust because everybody trying to get over. And depending on your position or the rules that you have to follow, such as stealing from the company might lead to termination or arrest, but what about the $60 billion stolen annually from workers through wage theft? Or how about that rich white boy that took four lives while DUI only receiving probation, while for marijuana I got hit with a felony plus cost See, you can sit there, act like we don't need to change and allow like allow things to stay the same, but until revolution is on your brain, you will always be a slave to capital gain because the capital gain is used to keep you shackled in chains because despite emancipation, the mental shackles remain. But we too busy trying to look cool, trying to look fly so no one pays attention. That's why I'm tired of talking about the revolution because I don't think they're listening.